Humphrey Mieno scored the long goal for the Sport Pesa All-Stars team which played against the select Hull City team at the historic match played at the KCOM Stadium, which is Hull City's home stadium. And today at a luncheon hosted by the league sponsors, led by CEO Ronald Karori, the player received 100,000 shillings, which was a promise earlier made for whoever would score a goal against the English side. The game ended 2-1 in favour of Hull City. The rest of the All-Stars team was given 1.15 million shillings, which translates to about 50,000 shillings for each member of the team when we came back that's uh, the first of March we've never we've not really had the time to really meet with all of them and just learn the experiences now that the league is back and each one of them plays in an SPL club it's important to just find out what's their tech from the exposure that they received in Hull the training camps that we had before how is their skill of play even better <laughs> Elsewhere, as Port Pesa Super 8 League leaders NYSA's title charge was dented late yesterday as they were frustrated by Mel Takabiri FC in an exciting West Conference Dagoretti derby that ended in a goalless draw at the post ground along Ngong Road. The result means NYSA maintained their lead on the 16 team log with 10 points having the advantage of a huge goal difference while Mel Takabiri, who are still winless in four matches, climbed back to 14th position in the log with two points. Meanwhile, Daniel Mwangi's 45th minute goal so defensively champions Kayole Asubuhi beat host Ole Rungai FC, while Metro Sports beat Zamalek FC by a similar margin, thanks to Peter Ambetsa's 69th minute goal at the drive-in ground. The result sees Zamalek drop three places to 11th with four points, as Metro Sports maintained position three on 10 points. Richard Munga for Channel 1 Sports.